let's just add a pinch of cayenne pepper and our kini health tonic is ready drink it before breakfast to help with cholesterol levels blood sugar levels and kidney health mm. hello Catherine from double o kidney here welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health this kidney tonic i have for you today is a promising tool in our mission to control slow down and eventually reverse the progression of chronic kidney disease it's a very easy recipe actually we just need two teaspoons of raw honey but it should be real raw honey this is very very important Raw honey is a great source of antioxidants, so powerful they can even protect your kidneys from high blood pressure. And incredibly, raw honey is even considered a low glycemic index food. Unfortunately, most honey you can find off the shelf in the supermarket is fake honey, usually mixed with high fructose corn syrup. This will quickly undo all the benefits of this remedy. But don't worry, I'll show you the best way to find real honey in a moment. So please don't skip that part of the video. Now for our tonic, we also need 1 tablespoon raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. An incredibly healthy ingredient. ACV can lower cholesterol and blood sugar levels. But not all brands of ACV are the same. So today, I'll also show you what ACV is best for kidney health. Now for our tonic, we also need one tablespoon of lemon juice, preferably organic and freshly squeezed. Great to make your body more alkaline. Let's just add a pinch of cayenne pepper. This is not just for the taste. Cayenne pepper contains capsaicin, a powerful anti-inflammatory with pain relieving properties. Now we just need to mix the ingredients in a glass and add warm water to taste. Drink all of it during or immediately before your breakfast. The benefits should be immediately visible. It offers very powerful detoxing properties. It is proven to lower your cholesterol levels, stabilize blood sugar levels, and to alkalize your body. Yes, when it comes to taking care of your kidneys, the combined effect of these four cheap and easy to find ingredients can make an incredible difference, especially if you drink one cup every day before breakfast. And when you try this recipe, let me know in comment section if it works for you. Now, this drink will have effects on your blood sugar levels and on your blood pressure. So, it's always best to check with your doctor for medical advice and treatment before starting to take it, if you are already suffering from a diagnosed condition or if you are taking medications. Now guys, let's talk about honey. Is honey healthy for people with kidney problems? Yes but only if it's real. Raw honey can have impressive health benefits to help improve kidney function. Where raw honey shines is in its content of bioactive plant compounds and antioxidants. These antioxidants can lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and even reduce the risk of blood clot formation in your arteries. Raw honey is even a low glycemic index food, meaning that people with diabetes can use it in small amounts as a sweetener. Now, the only problem with honey is that supermarkets mostly sell fake, sometimes even counterfeit honey. Supermarket honey is typically heated to very high temperatures, which essentially cooks out all the healthy pollen in the honey. And what many corporations do is mixing this posterized honey, which doesn't have many benefits to begin with, with high fructose corn syrup, 
and artificial sugar. Very, very bad. And not just for people with diabetes. Fluctuations in blood sugar, like those caused by added sugar consumption, are a major cause of chronic inflammation that can lead to heart disease, kidney disease, diabetes, and even cancer. Actually, discovering that many brands were pushing fake honey as the real thing was quite a scandal right before the current world events hit us. The ACCC even fined two companies for selling Turkish sugar syrup labeled as honey. And to make things worse, today there are few federal standards for honey, no government certification and no consequences for making false claims. In fact, even honey labeled as organic and pure do not indicate that the honey was unheated. Not so funny when you think about diabetic people that will get a spike in blood sugar levels for eating a supposedly healthy food. So how can you find real raw honey? First, don't go to the grocery store or to the supermarket to buy honey. Go to your nearest farmer's market. Raw honey looks like this. It has a lot of crystals. So buy locally produced honey and you are much more likely to get a product that is 100% honey derived from bees and not some unhealthy industrially made sugary mixture. As an alternative, if you can't find honey directly from the beekeeper to make sure you are buying raw honey, look at the label. It should say 100% raw or unpasteurized. Words like organic and pure do not indicate that the honey was unheated. Not all brands can be trusted, so I've linked down in description some that are however known to be safe. Now, the next thing here is apple cider vinegar or ACV in short. This ingredient is responsible for many of the health benefits of this tonic. First of all, it is proven to lower your blood sugar. Studies have documented improved blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity in diabetics who drink ACV regularly. And this is especially helpful if you drink it before the main meal of the day. Your body is going to process the sugar in it without spikes in your blood sugar levels if you drink ACV. It also improves heart health as studies have shown that ACV lowers cholesterol and reduces the blood pressure. Now unfortunately, just like honey, ACV is a healthy staple which has been ruined by the food industry. In fact, store-bought ACV will mostly look like this. This is clear. You can see through it. It means that it has been filtered and pasteurized. And like for honey, this processing will also remove many health benefits. Buying ACV with the mother is the best way to be sure you are buying raw, organic, unfiltered ACV. Okay, what is the mother in ACV and why does it matter? When apple cider vinegar undergoes a slow fermentation process, it creates a buildup of yeast and sugars, which is also a probiotic. This buildup of desirable micronutrients is called the mother, and it usually collects at the bottom of the ACV bottle or floats around in strands, making it appear cloudy. You'll find this in certain brands like Bragg Organic, raw apple cider vinegar, for example. Now, good lemons are easier to find than honey, fortunately. This is just a fruit. No corporation can completely alter it for profit like they do with honey. So if you can find organic lemons, that's good, but you can settle for regular fresh lemons too. They're still very healthy. And although lemon juice tastes sour and acidic, studies found that it actually has alkaline effects on the kidneys, 
once it's metabolized, which provides your kidney with a detoxifying boost. Another major benefit of lemon is that it helps detox the liver. And one of the main responsibilities of the liver is to get rid of toxins. When your liver is healthy, it helps the kidneys more than you can imagine. Not to mention that drinking lemon juice every day also helps to reduce inflammation and the risk for kidney stones. Okay, our last ingredient is cayenne pepper. And it's not here just for the taste. Cayenne pepper is great for your kidney health. It is found to be a natural fat burner and has anti-inflammatory effects. Both of those aspects are helpful in detoxing the kidneys. And not many people know this, but keep saying the active ingredient in hot peppers is a natural pain reliever. It works especially well against headaches, but also joint pain, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, and osteoarthritis. And according to some research, capsaicin may also work for nerve pain caused by diabetes. This works because capsaicin depletes a nerve cell known as substance P that transmits pain signals to our brain. You can even find pain relieving patches and pills made from capsaicin. Very important when to drink apple cider vinegar detox drink. Take this before breakfast for a few weeks to jumpstart your system. Drinking it in the morning will allow you to absorb the nutrients quickly and get your digestive system moving. And while this drink will really help detoxing your kidney by itself, it could be a great support for a full kidney detox. And also consider pairing this remedy to an alkaline diet. The alkaline diet works especially well to detox the kidneys because it generates less acid which put a lot of burden on the kidneys. Watch this video up here if you want to know what the best foods for an alkaline diet are. Bottom line, there is nothing better than feeling well and knowing that you are doing something good for your kidneys. And making this apple cider vinegar detox tonic is a great small step to take for better health. But remember, the battle for kidney disease is a march, not a sprint. You need to do something good for your kidneys every day. Now, if you want to give your kidneys a fast boost right here and right now, why not trying my workout program? Regular physical activity is the only known remedy for drug-resistant hypertension. It is also the most effective way in the world of lowering cholesterol levels and improving insulin sensitivity. Click here if you want to know more. As usual, a new video is coming next Tuesday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. Thank you for watching.